Good morning, everybody, and welcome to another Sunday morning vlog. As you can see, I'm at a Shell station because we are going on the road today. We are going to go outside of Las Vegas. We're going to do a one-day road trip. We're going to go to Indian Springs. We're going to go to the Nevada test site, a little town called Crystal Pahrump, and then we're going to a mountain for dinner. So get ready because this adventure starts right now. Our journey begins on U.S. Route 95 North on a bright and sunny Saturday. Just about 50 miles northwest of the Strip, we come upon the small unincorporated town of Indian Springs. The town doesn't even have a thousand residents, but it is home to two remarkable installations. On our right is Creech Air Force Base, a United States Air Force Command and Control Facility. The base has been on this site since 1951, and although it has changed names a few times, it's been Creech since 2005. The specialty here is remotely piloted aircraft that are deployed literally all over the globe. On this site is an unmanned aerial vehicle battle lab, a logistics and training facility, particularly for Silver Flag Alpha. And it's the aerial training site for the United States Air Force Thunderbirds. The other notable hub in Indian Springs is literally across the highway from Creech a Terribles Casino slash gas station slash fun and kitschy roadside rest stop. From the info we could find, it looks like this new incarnation opened in 2020 and it features a big boy restaurant. <laughs> when was the last time you saw one of those? But for us, it's the bombs embedded in the sidewalk that made us look twice. You don't see these at your typical rest area, do you? That neon signage is blinking even in the middle of the day. Let's go in. Step inside from the sidewalk and you are greeted with nostalgic black and white murals on both sides of the entry. And yes, I do remember when gas was 20 cents a gallon. And if you enter from the gas station side, there's another big mural, this one featuring Smokey and the Bandit, and gas for a buck twelve. This small and tidy casino is owned by the Herbst family, and if you've ever been to Nevada, you've certainly encountered a few of the many terrible Herbst locations in your travels. Inside are a variety of slot machines, a full-service bar, even a couple of pool tables. The restrooms are definitely worthy of a roadside attraction in themselves. Between the license plates and the signage, it's a photo op. But turn around from the restroom and check out this huge LED screen featuring those remote control planes from Creech. <laughs> Yikes, I'll tell you what, that'll wake you up. But while you're here, be sure to look up. There's a few more bombs up there in the rafters. Now, let's talk about this convenience store. Considering there's pretty much nothing on this road in either direction for an hour or more, this place has everything you might need. There are endless snacks on the shelves a huge self-serve counter for drinks, a separate beer cave, emergency auto parts, and even some cute stuffed animals to take home for the kids. Plus, I can honestly say that I have never seen such a fancy chandelier in a roadside gift shop. Front and center, though, as you walk in, are as many alien-themed souvenirs as your suitcase can hold. We are just on the road from the famous Area 51, so alien theming is a given around here. We were overwhelmed by the selection, but refrained from buying any of them just so you could have more when you stop by. Also in the building is a big boy diner, which opened here in November 2020. 
Owners Tim and Troy Herbst grew up eating Big Boy in Southern California and were really happy to install one right here in Indian Springs. The brand originated in 1936 as a hamburger stand in Glendale. And the Big Boy is credited as being the very first double-decker hamburger. The most famous and oldest operating location is over in Burbank, serving burgers and shakes since 1949. This location serves breakfast, lunch, and dinner, and is popular with the locals and Air Force personnel. <laughs> Not gonna lie, I really love these patriotic touches. After picking up a couple of fortifying ice cream bars at Terrible Shop, we were back on our journey. Past Indian Springs, Highway 95 turns west towards the enormous Nevada test site. Back in 1950, the Atomic Energy Commission and President Harry Truman selected this location for a nuclear weapons testing and proving ground, and so it was. Between 1951 and 1962, 100 above-ground tests were conducted and over the next 30 years, another 828 underground tests. All right, my friends, we are just outside of the little town of Mercury, which is a government-owned town, and you cannot get in there without government clearance. However, Paul and I did get in there and we got a tour of the entire atomic test site. It was an amazing, amazing day, am I right? That was one of the best days I ever had as a Las Vegas resident, without a doubt. <laughs> yeah, we had to go through, all, we had to do two months of security clearance before we could get in there. But uh, you can see that town, it's right straight over there. And when they uh, uh, exploded the atom bombs out here, uh, people used to come and protest and there's a holding pen that's still over there where they used to round the people up when they arrested them. And I don't know if it's here anymore. I'm not sure if that's it straight ahead, but they did build a, uh, um, a landing field for only one reason. And that was for John F. Kennedy to come out here and watch uh, one of the things be tested. And so that, that, that uh, airfield was never used again from what we were told, except for John F. Kennedy. Anyway, this is an amazing place. A lot of history here. Very scary stuff happened, but very important stuff. Very happened. important stuff happened as well. So again, that over there, that's the little town of Mercury. You could drive just a little bit down that road, but then it, they have gates and uh, you have to show government clearance to get in. So there you go, the atomic test site. Based Camp Mercury is over there in the distance, five miles from the main road. And at its peak in the 1960s had as many as 10,000 civilian and military residents. The number of workers stationed there is much smaller right now. Since the nuclear test ban in 1992, the test site has continued to perform important work. Monitoring the nuclear stockpile, performing non-nuclear experiments, radioactive waste management, environmental restoration, groundwater monitoring, and partnerships with educational institutions. Back on the road past the test site, we are looking for State Route 160, the southbound turnoff towards Pahrump. Pahrump is about half an hour away from the junction. But first, when you're out in the desert, who can resist an old rusted sign or two? Come on, let's take a right and see what gems we can find in Crystal, Nevada. Crystal is a tiny rural community, maybe just a few hundred residents, that was founded back in 1945. The township is just a few miles down this road. First up, a little bit of history. This is the Cherry Patch Ranch, an old brothel that has been abandoned for many years. It was last owned by a famous local Nye County character, 
Dennis Hoff, but Mr. Hoff moved the business to his love ranch and operated it successfully until he passed away there in 2018. Now here's a fun fact. Years ago, Paula and I actually went into the bar area at Cherry Patch on another Saturday afternoon and chatted with the bartender for an hour and a half. He was retired Air Force from Nellis, and what a fascinating conversation we had. What we love about old abandoned buildings out here are the signs and relics of what they once were, frozen in time and preserved by the desert climate. Now here's another great small town watering hole, Miss Kathy Short Branch Saloon. This place was popular with locals and bikers and was open from noon to six for daytime food, fun and music. Now sadly, it caught fire in January 2022 and was thought to be a total loss at the time, but it looks like it's being reborn. While we're here, let's take a quick drive around Crystal to see what life in a tiny unincorporated town looks like. Worlds away from the big city 80 miles away. We found a little community park with some shade trees, a picnic area, and just check this out. All right, you guys. And at Crystal Park, there is an honor system book exchange. I love this. Opposite the park are the mailboxes for Crystal's residents. Now, I wonder if Amazon Prime delivers way out here. Speaking of which, we have to get back on the road. The sun sets early here in February. One more rusty sign though, travel at your own risk. Beyond Crystal, Route 160 turns southeast and soon the outskirts of Pahrump, Nevada come into view. Pahrump is right at the Nevada-California border, about 300 square miles in area and with a population of 45,000. The name comes from the southern Paiute Parimpi, meaning water rock. In the past, this valley was home to many natural artesian wells. Along the main highway are the local casinos, Pahrump Nugget and Gold Town, both owned by Golden Gaming. On our right is the Saddle West Hotel, Casino, and RV Resort. I tell you what, RVing is huge in rural Nevada. Just outside the city limits, we take a right on Homestead Road to visit one of the notable tourist attractions in town. We pass the Lakeside RV Park and Casino, another Golden Gaming property. Golden is a big employer in Pahrump with three local casinos. As you can see, Pahrump is really sprawled out, lots of elbow room out here, and it's just an hour from Las Vegas. We're getting close. Here's a billboard for that sad abandoned brothel we just saw in Crystal. That one may be defunct, but this one is alive and well, the Chicken Ranch. No, it's not related to the one in Texas that inspired the Dolly Parton movie. It's the Nye County version that promotes itself as being the closest brothel to Las Vegas. The ranch opened in 1976, just a few years after prostitution was legalized in Nye County and sits on 40 acres. The paint colors and artwork across the entire building are worthy of a postcard, and there's even a little photo op out front. The Leghorn Bar has a separate entrance, and locals and visitors are encouraged to stop in for a cocktail. When you pull out of the chicken ranch, there's plenty of signage reminding you of what you just passed, but not to worry because just next door is Sherry's Ranch. Sherry's is also a legal brothel, but builds itself as a resort with upscale rooms and furnishings, themed bungalows, 
and a full-fledged hotel behind the main house complete with pool and spa. The sports bar has a separate entrance and is popular with locals for drinks, wings, socializing, and of course, sports viewing. Out in the parking lot, you could smell steaks cooking on the grill, and I'll tell you what, we were tempted to stop in, but we had one more stop to go on this desert adventure. Well, my friends, follow us as we head back the way we came on Homestead Road and hook back up with Route 160. Just check out that view of the mountains surrounding Pahrump. Back on Highway 160, the sunset is in the rearview mirror, and we are in search of dinner. And we found it at Mountain Springs Summit, elevation 5,410 feet. Mountain Springs is another of those unincorporated communities, this one an outpost on the Old Spanish Trail and later the Mormon Road. It's 40 degrees outside, and we are absolutely ready for some food and warmth at the world-famous Mountain Springs Saloon. Check this place out. You have to get out of Las Vegas to find gems like this. The saloon has been here since the 1950s, a beloved biker and weary traveler stopover for decades. And the side yard is all set up for warmer weather and live music. And back beyond that, you'll find the food ordering window. The menu has a definite Mexican flavor, and the prices are off the beaten track reasonable. We ordered a couple of sandwiches and stopped to take a look at the surprise koi pond at the top of the hill. <laughs> Not what you expect a mile above sea level. Step inside the main building via the side door and you're in the game room. There's a pool table with a great emblem on top. And the base is an old time car. There's a stage for live music on Sundays. Shuffleboard. Seating. And lots and lots of dollar bills literally on every square inch of wall and ceiling. Through the doorway is the bar. I'm trying my luck at Video Kino while I wait for dinner to be delivered. There's a real wood fire. Hundreds or thousands more dollar bills. and the prettiest little white retriever you ever did see. This room is tiny, just a handful of seats at the bar, but homey and warm with locals and a friendly bartender, Andrea. We couldn't get enough of the dollars, the dog, or the wood-burning fireplace. <laughs> I tell you what, there's no gas jets in here, my friends. The food was brought down from the kitchen, and both the burger and pulled pork were hot and tasty. No kidding, we had a terrific stop at the Mountain Spring Saloon and can't recommend it highly enough. Warm and full, we head back home. Now here's a fun fact. This highway over the Spring Mountains connecting Las Vegas and Pahrump wasn't built until the 1960s. The leg that connects Pahrump to US 95 that we traveled earlier was built even later than that. It's steep and dark at night, but that sprawling light show is guiding us towards home. Well, we made it home and we're in our little studio. We are. Welcome to the studio. We haven't done an outro from here in a while. I hope you like this video. I'll tell you what, this is the kind of stuff that we really want to do. I'll tell you what, when he showed me the first cut of this, I got so excited <laughs> because this jazzes me. It I does. love being on the open road. I love showing you cool, kitschy 
things about Nevada. And we just absolutely love Nevada outside of Las Vegas, as well as we love inside of Las Vegas. Hence our name. How about that? Wow, <laughs> give me one of those. Oh, all right, I just want to talk about the Nevada test site here for a second. Uh, when we did do that tour, there were a few things you had to know about it. First of all, I got that thing mixed up about the air the airport, but uh, that's okay. Well, we, we found some info. Yeah, we did yeah. find info. Anyway, uh, you did have to have clearance, but you could not take your cell phones in there. Uh, no pictures were allowed to be taken, of course, no video, but we did go in there and see some interesting things. We saw the house that uh, exploded. You've probably seen it in many, many videos, and uh, I think we have a picture of that. I'll put that in here right now. And we also went to the, the uh, nuclear waste management we did. They actually took us there on the tour. It was a bus tour, and uh, we did see the waste management facility, and it was, the whole thing was so magical. We stood on the edge of those craters. Yeah. We, we did. That was the other yeah. thing I wanted to say. That big crater that you saw, that was uh, formed by an underground testing, and right. it's much deeper than it looks when you're there. But the folks that went to the moon went there and that's where they learned how to use their lunar vehicles was in there. That is true. Yeah. Yeah. The test site has been used for a million things. And actually we were given a very cool um, brochure when we went to the test site and much of the information we're giving you today is actually from this little packet of info they gave us. So if this interests you, uh, the N N N Nevada Test Museum, uh, what do they call it? The it's the Atomic Test Museum. The Atomic Museum. Test yeah, Museum. Flamingo you can You can uh, sign up to do this, but you have to do it in advance because they want to check out your, you, uh, you know, your but you can also just stuff. go to the museum, which is fascinating. Yeah, the museum is fascinating. We actually did a video on the museum, didn't we? We never have. No, we Not never have. This channel. But we did go there, and it is fascinating. All right, the rest of the video, I'll tell you, uh, Indian Springs is an amazing place. Crystal, did you like Crystal? <laughs> that that <laughs> used to have a couple of brothels down there. In fact, from what I thought, I think, Heidi Fleiss used to have her... That is true. She yeah. was going to build a men's brothel. A men's brothel, brothel. Or yeah. For the ladies, and that fell through. But that felt Crystal true. is an interesting place. But then you go to Pahrump, and Pahrump is so full of characters, you have no idea. And it is blooming. It's kind of a bedroom community for Las Vegas. Yeah. A lot of Las Vegans are escaping to Pahrump, and actually property values are quite high right yeah. now. Yeah, yeah. It's a really nice little town. And it honestly, it's a, it's a very quiet little town, too. It is quiet. Got a winery. Yeah, it's a really nice place. Lots of elbow room, elbow room as you saw. Now, yeah. about those brothels. Now, uh, let me just say that... They are very welcoming to people who just want to come in. Both of them have a gift shop, but the, the, the second one, Sherry's Ranch, actually has a pretty nice restaurant. And when we were there on that Saturday, I'm telling you, all the cars, that most of the cars that were in the parking lot were going there to have dinner. They were going there to eat. Yeah, yeah that that uh, bar must be really, really tasty, yeah. and it did smell good. <laughs> and, of course, then the, uh, the mountain. That was great. Mountain Spring Saloon. Why have we not been there? And, actually, I have to give a shout-out to Laura and Stuart because you guys told us how great it was, and you were right. Absolutely. All right, if you're not subscribed, please subscribe. Don't forget to hit that notification button. Anything else you want to tell these nice people, Paula. Paula's Kitchen and more debuts on Wednesday. Subscribe and don't miss it. Hope you had a good time. We'll see you next time. Bye, bye everybody. Bye, everybody.